Morning. It's George H. Heller, West 80 South Pole Farm. Uh, today we're at the home place and we are looking at the rams and we got a couple withers in here too. This one right in front of us, that's a wither. Um, yeah, at home here, we've got a lot of trees. It's pretty much all trees at home. Um, this particular spot here, uh, I can't remember how many years exactly, five, six years ago, a big storm came through and kind of leveled everything down and I went in here and cut all the down trees out and kind of clear cut it off uh, to clean up the mess. And now we've got a bunch of uh, popple trees coming up, small popple trees coming up, and then we've got some red oak coming in here. Um, so what I did is I took a bale of hay and I just unrolled it through the woods here pretty much with the bobcat, just pushed it through here over top of the trees. Um, now the rams are gonna come in here and uh, the rams are gonna come in here and eat this hay and trample it down and then spread fertility. And then at the same time they're in here, they're, they're nibbling. I've knocked these popple trees down. You can see now they're nibbling on the buds from them the sheep really like they really like popple buds they're just like goats almost on them um but all these small rams in here are all intact i guess they'd all be available if anybody wanted to if anybody wanted one uh or if somebody wanted to get one to raise for meat i guess they'd be available for that too um uh, we are gonna probably keep a few back for our freezer, um, but uh, yeah, there'd be some available. There's some pretty good looking rams in here. This guy right here, he's he's got a pretty good build on him. Uh, they all got nice hair coats on him. This guy here has got a real nice mane on him already. Uh, doing pretty well. No worming, no grain, no hoof trimming. This is a half breed weather here. It's a his mom's a wool and then has a St. Croix sire. Um, this guy here, he's like a carbon copy of our big colored ram. He looks nearly identical to him. He's he's a pretty nice looking ram. Uh, yeah, we've also got some guard dog puppies in here with them. Uh, we've been training these guys in. Looks like they've been tussling with each other a little. He's got a little blood on his ear. Um, these are, uh, uh, let's see, well, they're, this, their dad is over at the other farm. He's my big male, my big dog over there, the... Uh, Half Anatolian, quarter Pier, quarter uh, Merima, and uh, yeah, and their mom was a great Pyrenees. Um, she kind of she didn't she had complications with the birth and. Uh, she ended up passing away a week after she had these puppies. So uh, we've been, uh, we bottle fed these puppies for, I don't know, four or five weeks or something. Yeah, you can see the little rams, they're not afraid to butt them puppies, which is good. That's what you want. You want them puppies to respect the sheep. You want them rams to give them a little taste of that, that gives them respect. Um, but yeah, we're raising them up and I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that I can't keep them all, even though I want to. Um, I'd love to keep them all, but I just, we just can't keep them all. There's too many. Um, they're just, I, I, I want them all, but I can't have them. So uh, there's going to be a few available here. I'm keeping a couple. But there's going to be some available. 
I haven't really decided just yet. I don't know uh, how exactly I'm going to go about that. But um, yeah, I just thought I was at home and I just unrolled a bale here and I thought I'd just show people what we got going on at the home place. We've got 48. Oh, sorry, stepped on a puppy. Oh boy. Um, got 40 acres here, uh, mostly trees, and we're working on fencing it. We do have this particular spot fenced in. We've got uh, woven wire for fence over here. Uh, it was before I caught on to the timeless fence. I had already bought everything. Um, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here. And then uh, I guess I should have said on the other side of the you can't see the fence really from here, but it's kind of over by them oak trees, the fence. And on the other side of that is the neighboring 40, which I have access to. I got to fence that off, though. Um, and then that'll be another 40 acres that we can develop into a silvo pasture. That's kind of what I want to do here, too, is get kind of a silvo pasture going on. Um, and then uh, get some grass growing in here so that... Uh, we can start grazing cattle and stuff in here too because the ultimate idea of the plan is to have the cattle home here during the winter so I don't have to go anywhere to do chores and stuff. Uh, but for right now, I just got the sheep in here. So, or the rams. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll better get off of here. I just thought I'd shoot a quick video, show people what we got going on here. Uh, let you know there's rams available, I guess, if you have any interest in that. Uh, yeah. So, everybody have a great day, and uh, we'll catch you later.